Good morning, dear students. How are you today? I hope you're fine. Today we're going to have a sample lesson. It's called multiplying integers. So by the end of the lesson, you're going to be able to multiply integers, simplify algebraic expressions. Okay, how are the signs of factors and products related? The temperature drops here 7 degrees Celsius. For each one kilometer um, increase in altitude, a drop of 7 degrees Celsius is represented by negative 7. So the temperature changes equals the altitude times negative 7. The table here shows the change in temperature for several altitudes. Suppose the altitude is 4 kilometers, write an expression to find the temperature change. Use the pattern in the table to find here 4 negative 7, 4 times negative 7. So as you see here, I have a table. I have uh, the altitude here, the kilometers, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. I have the altitude times the rate of change, okay? The rate of change I have here, negative 7, okay? So, the rate of exchange, okay, I want to um, show this to you. The rate is negative 7. So, the rate is negative 7. Negative 7 is the rate. And I have here, this is the altitude. And the temperature change, okay, so I'm going to multiply 1 times negative 7, 2 times negative 7, 3 times negative, negative 7. And here, 1 times negative 7 gives me negative 7. 2 times negative 7, negative 4, and so on. So use the pattern in the table to find 4 times negative 7. 4 times negative 7 equals 2. Yeah, I can hear you. Negative 28. So I have here, uh, after this, I have here multiply integers. Multiplication is what? It's important to know. Multiplication is repeated addition. Multiplication is repeated addition. So three times a negative seven. This means that negative seven is repeated three times. Negative seven is repeated three times. Negative seven, negative seven, negative negative seven gives you as here in the model, as in on the number line, I have here uh, negative seven, negative seven, and negative seven gives you negative twenty one. By the commutative property uh, of multiplication 3 times negative 7, we can say negative 7 times 3. So, this example suggests the following rule, okay? I have here 4 times negative 3. It's the same as negative 3 times 4. So, the product of the two integers of with different signs is negative. The product of two different signs is negative. When I say negative times, this is the rule. Negative times positives gives me negative. Okay? Okay. Multiply integers with uh, different signs. 5 times negative 6 gives you negative 30. The factors have different size. The product is negative. Okay, the product of two positive integers is positive. Why? Here, when I have positive times positives, gives you these are the these are the rules. Positives times positives gives you positive. Positives times positive gives you always positive. Okay, my dear students. So I have here a negative uh, four. When I say here, I have uh, positive times positive. 4 times 3, as you see here, the marker, I have here uh, positive and positive gives you positive. When you have uh, two negative signs, it gives you also positive. So, equal uh, when I have the same sign, so the answer always is positive. Uh, even it's two positives or two negatives. So, the answer must be positive, okay? Positives time negative gives you different, gives you negative. Different gives you negative, same gives you positive, okay? Okay, my dear students. Multiply integers with the same sign, okay? Same sign gives you positive. Okay, in multiplying, don't, okay, don't confuse between, uh, don't mix between multiplying and, uh, and adding or subtracting. So, here, negative and negative times negative, neg uh, when I say multiply, same, same here, signs gives you positive. Different signs gives you negative. Okay, this is, uh, when I say here in example 3, it's important, multiply more than 2 integers. More than 2 integers, let's see together. Okay, I want the marker now. Okay, when I say here more than uh, 2 integers, negative 4, negative 5, negative 8. So, I have here 3. I have here 3. 
as you see here i used the associative property the associative property negative three a negative four negative five negative eight i put them all in in i put negative four here with negative five and i have here negative eight okay uh, as you see here i want to enlarge this for you that's what i'm thinking i'm thinking of okay i'm thinking of making this larger so just a moment yes yes like this to see it okay this is um okay more clear so i have here what negative five times negative eight times negative eight and i have here also negative four times negative five okay what's this so what's what what should i do here when i say negative four times negative five negative times negative gives me what my dear students the same sign it gives me positive positive 20 positive 20 times negative 8 so it gives me negative 160 okay this is by the way associative property okay okay so use integers to solve a problem okay a glacier was receding at a rate of 300 feet per day what's the glaciers uh, movements in five days okay this is uh, for you please solve this okay uh, read the test item the word receding means moving backward so receding uh, receding mo uh, means moving back backward backward so the rate per day is represented by okay focus here my dear students when i say receding it means backward backward means negative negative multiply five times negative 300 to find the movement in five days so five times negative 300 equals to negative 1500 okay 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 my dear students i have here example five simplify and evaluate evaluate algebra okay so it's easy also negative four times negative uh, times a nine x simplify and evaluate algebraic expression simplify negative four time negative uh, times uh, nine x okay so i use here what i have here a negative four time nine x so i can put here the associate i use here the associative uh, property of multiplication why to put the negative four with nine to multiply negative four times nine gives you what negative thirty six x simplifying simplify negative 2x times 3y so i can use also here what uh, i have here negative 2 okay negative 2 and put x alone here 3 and here y alone all in brackets this is commutative uh, property of multiplication so please put negative 2 with uh, 3 the numbers with the numbers with each other and here what the variables with each other so i have here negative 2 times 3 gives you yes negative 6 and here x times y gives you xy okay and the last one evaluate 4ab if a equal 3 and b negative 5 okay it's easy okay so substitute replace a with 3 and b with negative 5 as you see here 4 with 3 and here negative 5 4 times 3 okay times negative 5 this is associative property of multiplication okay why did we do so because uh, here 4 times 3 gives me 12 then by uh, negative 5 gives me negative 60 this is the answer so study well from the student book and solve for this lesson on your practice book and give me your feedback thank you my dear students